broadcast. Other news tonight, a tremendous show of support of love for a family that died in a terrible house fire one week ago in Nehawka in Cass County. Elementary school children who went to school with the Spear girls came together at Conestoga Elementary School tonight for a balloon release. Reporter Miranda Christian captured the emotional scene and sounds. And teach the staff, the students, they are definitely have taken it hard, but they're doing a wonderful job on keeping that routine going. The principal for Conestoga Elementary School says they're slowly getting back to normal after the district lost three members. Eric Dennis says counselors have been talking with the students about the loss of the Spears. A lot of it is this letting them talk about the, the girls, letting them talk about um, Emma, Adeline and, and Ellie and just saying, tell us about them. What, what are some fun memories you have with them? On Thursday, the school had their annual Cougar Halloween. We've had conversations with our kids that kids should never have to have. And um, for our kids, they need to go on to normal. <laughs> to honor the Spear family, the school decided to have a balloon release. PTO mother Allison Welch says these balloons are helping everyone celebrate the lives lost. And to release our grief with the balloon release, so to kind of let go, that's the way I described it to my children. We're trying to let go of grief and celebrate life um, and the light that these girls and parents brought to all of us. She says the kids have been through so much the last week and need to know how to move on. And this is a village. Murray's a village, right? And they say it takes a village to raise your kids. This is a pretty great village, and we've all learned that in the last, last week. So. That was Miranda Christian reporting. We should note she and her crew were driving in Murray, Nebraska tonight, and there were pink ribbons and lights all over town in honor of the Spears. There is a movement to go pink for the Spears this Halloween by putting a pink light on your porch, in fact, all throughout the month of November.